it has become one of British sport's most iconic events. Shot. They're looking for that, let alone chasing it. In the summer of 1981, Ian Botham almost single handedly swung a series in England's favour against the old enemy, Australia. They became his ashes, and they always will be. That's a splendid 100. A great innings by Ian Botham. But just across the boundary in Lincolnshire, the man affectionately known as Beefy has a far less celebrated professional football career with one of our local clubs. A friend of mine who sadly passed away with a brain tumour, Steve Earl, um, was playing for Scunthorpe and lived in the village. And we guy got to know Steve through playing for a bit of local football on the Sunday. And he said, well, why don't you come through and train with us at Scunthorpe? So I started doing that and we used to travel through together. And uh, after about a week there, Ron Ashman, who was then the manager, signed, uh, put me on, uh, signed me on, and I played uh, for the reserves that week. So that's how it all started, and I had a, on and off about ten great years uh, with Scunthorpe. I never really had the chance to play that much, but uh, the authorities didn't really appreciate me playing on Boxing Day uh, against Hull, and then flying the next day to the West Indies to captain England. But there was no central contracts then. And I don't really care what the authorities think anyway. <laughs> A Lord's Test match and an afternoon at the old showground carry very different pressures. But did Sir Ian have a preference? No, actually, I enjoyed both. And I think if you're that kind of animal and uh, you, you want to be in the uh, hottest part of the kitchen. So, um, yeah, I mean, to mark Billy Whitehurst and then have to get on a plane and play for England and survive was quite remarkable. Botham was a veteran of over 100 Test matches and 100 One Day Internationals alongside his spell at Iron and a short stint with Yeovil Town just beforehand. Clearly he was not a man concerned by burnout or a fixture pilot, although sometimes the transition to training at Scunthorpe did prove heavy going. I enjoyed it. Um, I'm naturally pretty fit anyway. So, uh, But uh, yeah, the boys used to find it quite amusing when I first turned up because I'd uh, inevitably be around the back of a bush throwing up uh, within about 15 minutes of the first hard run. Uh, but it's totally different fitness uh, to cricket. The, the one thing that I found between the two uh, was that uh, cricketers are much more flexible. Uh, we were much more uh, muscles, we were much more stretched hamstrings. Uh, you know, boys could hardly get to their knees with their hamstrings, and so we were much more supple. So, but that's because our game went on for maybe six hours, so you had to be uh, ready to go at any stage. Whereas soccer is a ballistic game, uh, 90 minutes. He may only have made 11 appearances in the claret and blue of United, but Botham still has a soft spot for the club. As a cricket pundit, he travels the world with England, but still keeps a close eye on all things scunny. I can tell you every game, yeah. So I follow it wherever I'm in the world, whether it's on the sling box, uh, whether, I, uh, whether I just watch it. Uh, it's very strange watching football on a, a printout, but uh, it's, a, it's a different game then. Everything comes about four minutes later. And, and it's all written down, but uh, no, I find a way, always find a way to know what's going on. And uh, now, of course, it's a lot easier uh, than it used to be because uh, you've got uh, iPhones and iPads and things like that, and everybody uh, stays in touch. So, no, I keep in touch, but I'm going to come down to a game or two before the, when I get back uh, before the end of the season, and I think we're going to have a bit of a boys' reunion, so it'll be good fun. Botham's family tree is a rich tapestry of talented sportsmen. Father Herbert was a skilled footballer and cricketer, while son Liam represented Hampshire as well as spells in both codes of rugby before he was forced into retirement with a neck injury. And now Sir Ian is keeping a close eye on the next generation of Bothams. I've got two grandsons um, who are showing, uh, the two-year-old uh, who hasn't, we haven't assessed him yet, but the uh, <laughs> two older boys are, are, are sporting. Uh, I've got a lot of talent and my granddaughter's actually uh, a talented sports lady as well. So, yeah, it, it's in the genes, I think. Do you potentially see one day a, a, another Botham playing in a, in a Scunthorpe United shirt? Yeah, when we're in the Premiership, why not? <laughs>